All right, boys, we're gonna do three games of Empire Wars. How big is my base? Oh, we're definitely getting a tournament with this. And it's Wait, your okay. villagers are queued up as well, bruh. Yeah, Abbasid starts with Golden Age. That's true. Wait, does every sim start with farms? Abbasid is market in Dark Age? What? Look, this start sucks compared to English, what the fuck? Delhi has four scholar? Yo, China starts with two imperial officials? What is this? What is this, man? French just starts with nothing? Who's this? HRE? Bro, this is a scam. What is this hunting cabin? Four scholars! Ooh, two pastures is actually really strong. No cappuccino. Wait, two, three gurs and two pastures and ubu. Blacksmith in Dark Age? Huh? I'm not sure what's better. Like, is it better to start with farms as English or with more workers as French? I would probably assume more workers with French, right? Because you can just go on the map. But I'm not sure. We set it up so each sieve has 300 resources of their own specific investments. How does Delhi have four, four scholars then? Although that might be needed because their upgrades are so slow. We're about to do Empire Wars. This is a new mod that came into the game. Uh, playing with Sassy over here. We are both randoming. I got HRE and he got Malian. Now, you will notice immediately uh, we are both starting with batshit insane amounts of workers. That's what Empire Wars is, for those that don't know. So, basically, Empire Wars is... You don't start in age 2, you start in age 1. And I have 26 villagers. And 2 prelates. So every sieve has a different start, in a way. Like... Uh, So every sieve has a different start. For example, um, English starts with uh, extra fa eight farms. I'm trying to talk and play at the same time because it's very sped up AOE4. Uh, so English starts with like extra uh, eight farms. H3 starts with two prelates. Delhi actually starts with... Um, I can start wheelbarrow as well, actually. Uh, Delhi starts with four... Um, Scholars and a mosque. French, I think, starts with extra villagers. So every Civ has, like, something. Um, Malian starts with a pit and so on and so forth. Abbasid, I think, it starts with 8-1 market, I've heard. Which is kind of crazy. <laughs> what do you think about it? Uh, so yeah, it's kind of like a sped up version of AoE uh, 4. I've just tested it. I, this is my first actual game on it. So I have no idea what it's going to look like, but... Let's give it a go. So I feel like I should get all the eco upgrades immediately, probably. I also feel like I should have probably made 
Oh, dude, I forgot about the scouts kicked out. This is so sped up, it's like my brain's trying to keep up. I'll go to DC. He's probably just rushing castle. I think the correct way to play this is to probably rush barracks like immediately. Okay, my build is definitely not the best. I got a lot of gold, and I'm also worried that he's aging up already. Also, my hotkey for select title army is not working, so I'm gonna fix that actually. <laughs> Okay. Start. He's gonna start pumping archers. my hotkey. I can't uh, select idle villagers. I can't use the hotkey. Okay, I'm gonna 
You're just letting me vacuum all the relics, which I appreciate. I got the wrong upgrade. <clears throat> I got inspired warriors instead of the other one because the hot queue has changed. Sieht 
Sponsoren gehen. Alle sind bereit. Jetzt verstanden. Bitte einzufallen. Bitte. Bereit ist gut. Jetzt ist keine Last. 
18-minute period with L's back and so many units. Damn. It's kind of crazy how it works. And I'm not even sure what my opinion actually is about Empire Wars. Because it's it, it is so much faster and the build up so much faster, but I feel like the early game, it's a lot of it is skipped. I'm not sure. Let me try something more uh, something more aggressive. Isn't it tap out too early? No. I'm imperial. I took four relics. I just killed like twenty plus workers. <clears throat> I want to try something. Um, I'm gonna try English. Can I? Let's see this. Apparently, there's another change. Oh, look at that. So now, if you go match history, you can just click on your opponent's thing to open his match history finally. That's nice. So, I'm gonna try to, to play how I think. How I Good think luck. this should Have be played, fun. okay? I think this is in theory like the proper way to play this. So English starts with farms. So I think the way to play this is like immediately men at arms or spearmen whatever i think you, if you don't i think any civ can just rush castle freely And now we age up. Like, I think this is a yes. way better way to play this. Council Hall. I mean, this does require you to play a lot faster, I think. There's a lot less time to think or do shit. He's going trade. I think he's just dead. I, I don't think there's time for trade in this mod. Like, I just don't think there's any time for that. Now I'm immediately gonna follow up with spearmen and longbows. I think English in this mod is really strong.
We get the eco upgrades. And I think right now, I just go castle. Like, I don't I don't think I even uh, commit here. I don't think there's any need. Yo, is this good? Is this is this type of AOE for good? Kroners? Abuga Strelbora. Not really a big fan of my farms being forward, but I guess his gold is forward, so. Shula. 
My, my macro is so fucked because I'm not used to your shit uh, growing so much economically like all of a sudden. I still don't have enough food.
where I got this relic. Well.
deeper than that steering, so we're ahead. No headless coming, men. Labor good or work. I mean, the games are a lot faster, but <clears throat> the games feel a lot faster and more <clears throat> action packed, but the feudal I feel like is non existent. It's like making units in feudal is like a distraction. Almost. Unless I may, maybe I should age up to Vila and throw down like six production rods just insta go. Maybe that's a better way to play this. I like what I did in Dark Age. I think I think if you if this mode ever became like a thing in tournaments, I think you insta throw down the barracks, no matter what civ you are. Yeah, feudal is like Dark Age, yeah. I mean, I talked about this. I was comparing this to uh, yesterday when I was talking about this. I was comparing this to Wrath. Oh, sorry, Wrath. Uh, Legacy of the Void. When Legacy of the Void introduced 12 workers in Starcraft from 6, you skipped a lot of early part in the game. So, for example, Mongol Tower Rush. I mean, I just don't see how it's viable. Unless you would pull, like, 5 villagers for a tower. But then your opponent can pull, like, 10. You know? Maybe this could be possible if the number of villagers was reduced, maybe. Or you would increase cost of the age up. If you were to increase cost of the age up, maybe from 400, 200 and for feudal to 600, 250 or 600, 300, and then castle age age up was like 2K, 1K, right? Because you have exponential growth with your economy then you could basically have the action without without sacrificing the boring parts of the game they did say they wouldn't want to make balance adjustments <clears throat> well they don't need to make balance adjustments they can just make the balance adjustment in the mod the dev said they're willing to change the amount of workers and stuff people start with why not why not change the age up cost i think that's one of the easiest fixes I generally think that Are you ready? If you play it well, you can get castle almost for free yeah, every time. Fun. Feels like changing the game too much. I know. 
I don't disagree with you guys. I mean, I said, like, this does change the game a lot. Oh shit, I already have stuff queued up. Okay, cool. Fuck, I didn't fix my hotkey. I need to fix it after this game. <clears throat> so, Delhi starts with four scholars in here. I haven't found a single sheep. Made barracks instantly. I forgot. <clears throat> I'm 
Do you guys see that? It's freaking bright. Oh, 
Feel that back, shit. <clears throat> it doesn't feel that bad. I thought that Delhi would struggle in this mode a lot more. <clears throat> but if anything, I feel like Delhi is better. Because your upgrades are almost coming at the same time as other civs, except they're free. I gotta say, this uh, Empire Wars is way harder to play, I think, than uh, normal AOE 4. Because the amount of stuff you have to do in Feudal is insane. You instantly have to, like, make units, right? Like, instantly. So the fighting starts immediately. The upgrades, you can... It's not like, okay, I'm gonna age up and I pick up Wheelbarrow. And then, like, a little bit later, I pick up Double Products. It's like... You have enough gold to pick up 3-4 upgrades. So it's kind of like you're playing Delhi with every Civ, because you can get every upgrade immediately. But you don't need to. And also with the attack upgrades, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, um... I feel like it's harder to play. It's interesting, though. The only reference point I have from different villager starting mods was the 12 villager starting mod. Uh, that we played in a tournament once and I felt like that one I mean obviously it was between the six villager start and and this which is like this is like the extreme you start with like 26 villagers um, so I think that 12 villager felt like new age of empires and it's funny how that works the 12 villager start felt like new age of empires 4 where it's like okay I need to relearn the builds again but I feel like there's a, a point where if you start with too many villagers, it's not that like there's no build, but it's almost like you are kind of playing mid-feudal with no production. Does that make sense? It's like you're thrown in, you age up, and then you're mid-feudal with the amount of workers you have. So you can throw down like stables barracks archer range and get eco upgrades and then the game in a way continues normally right like the game just after you throw down the production buildings the game is the same as you would usually play i think where you're you're both in feudal and you're both fighting on the map but the the build order part is so short that it's almost non-existent if that makes sense and I'm sure people would figure out some like 2TC builds into Fast Castle or 2TC into Push and stuff like that. But the margin for error is a lot smaller because the economy is so much higher. I don't know. I haven't. I mean, I'm sure devs have tried different villagers, villager numbers and, and, and like thought about what how it feels and stuff like that. I feel like maybe just tuning it down a tiny bit, maybe maybe going down to like 20 villagers would be better maybe it wouldn't i don't know but i feel like just slowing down a tiny bit uh might be a bit better because it would extend that that dark age a tiny bit more and maybe allow for you know more plays there also another way to delay or or make dark age longer would be to put your workers next to TC, but then it's kind of annoying that you have to put them on stuff, right? But it would basically delay Dark Age by another 20 seconds, where by the time your villagers go to your resources, you have time to build a barracks and actually do something. Uh, but that's pretty cool. 
I personally actually enjoy that. Um, now, I'm not gonna go out and say like, the game should turn into this, right? I'm not saying that every tournament should suddenly be on Empire Wars, but I thought it was fun. And I don't know what the balance is like, like I don't know which civs are. There's probably some civ that's just broken with this, right? Who knows? But I think it was fun. I think it was fun. If you're watching this on YouTube, guys, uh, all you gotta do... Well, if you're playing on Poop, Poop, AK Pup, which is the test servers, uh, you just host the game, you go game mode, you change it to Empire Wars, and that's it. You can play any map on Empire Wars. It doesn't matter. It's just a mod. It works for every map. And if you want to play it on live version, it's coming with Season 5, which should be in about 5 weeks, 5-6 weeks, something like that. 